Hello students, let us start up a new session of chapter 13, Nuclei. Now, let us understand size of the nucleus. The size of the nucleus that has to be less than 4 into 10 raised to minus 40 meter. This can be identified by the alpha particle scattering. If we use alpha particles having a higher energy than 5.5 mega electro volt, then the distance of the closest approach to the golden nucleus that would be smaller and at some point the scattering will begin to affected by the short nuclear force and that would be differ from Rutherford's calculation. Rutherford calculations are based on only the Coulomb's repulsive force existed between two positive charges of alpha particle and gold nucleus. So from the distance at which deviation sets based on that nuclear size can be defined. So from that nucleus size alpha particle will experience higher electric field and it will deviate in other direction and can be reflected back. So by performing that scattering experiment, fast electrons instead of alpha particle are projectiles that bombard the targets and made up various elements and the size of nuclei of various elements can be measured accurately. And it found that a nucleus of mass number A having a radius R that R equal to R0 into A raised to 1 by 3. That R0 constant is 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 15 meter. And the volume of this nucleus is proportional to R cube. And here R cube is proportional to A. Means the density of nucleus is constant that is independent of A. That is at a mass number. So the density of nuclear matter that would be equal to 2.3 into 10 raised to 17 kilogram per meter cube. This density is very large compared to ordinary matter as density of water is 10 raised to 3 kilogram per meter cube. It means atom has a large amount of empty space. Let us go through the example. Given the mass of iron nucleus as 55.85 atomic unit and A mass number is 56. Find the nuclear density. So here a mass of iron is given that is 55 into 85 atomic unit that would be converted into the kilogram so it would be 9.27 into 10 raised to minus 26 kilogram. Density equal to mass per volume. Mass in the kilogram we are having. Volume that is uh, 4 pi into 4 pi by 3 into 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 15 raised to 3. That 1.2 into 10 raised to minus 15 is the R0. So here that would be multiply with the 1 by 56. That would be equal to 2.29 into 10 raised to 17 kilogram per meter cube. So here the density of matter in neutron stars and astrophysical object is comparable to this density. It shows that matter in these objects has been compared to such an extent that they have resembled a big nucleus. Now for the mass energy, it is based on the theory of spe uh, special relativity given by the Einstein. He suggested that mass of atom can be utilized as another form of energy. 
and it was presumed earlier that mass and energy are conserved separately in a reaction they cannot be combined together but einstein shows that mass is another form of energy so that can be convert uh, that can convert mass energy combinedly into the form of another form of energy that can be kinetic energy so mass energy can be converted into the kinetic energy and vice versa so based on that he has given the energy equation related to the mass energy that is e equal to mc square so here the energy e is equivalent of mass n c that c is nothing but velocity of light in vacuum that would be 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second and here uh, based on the conservation law of energy the initial energy and the final energy are equally provided the energy associated with the mass is can is also can include so let us go for the example and calculate the energy equivalent of one graph of substance so here mass of substance is given 1 gram convert into the kilogram that would be 10 raised to 3 kilogram we have the energy equation based on the einstein given in a mass energy relation e equal to mc square m is given 1 gram equal to 10 raised to 3 kilogram see that we know 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second substitute the value of m and c and we able to get 9 into 10 raised to 13 joule so if 1 gram of matter is converted to energy then it will release the large amount of energy that here in term of 9 into 10 raised to 13 joule now the next nuclear binding energy as we know mass of nucleus that would be equal to mass of protons plus mass of neutrons and this nuclear mass can be defined as capital m that can be found always less than this calculation by the spectrometer for example oxygen having a 16 atomic mass and eight atomic number which is having eight neutrons and eight protons and eight electrons so mass of neutrons that uh, mass of new neut single neutron we have defined earlier 1.0866 atomic unit multiply with the eight so total mass of eight neutrons we able to get it earlier we have seen the mass of single proton that would be 1.007727 atomic unit for the hydrogen and if we multiply with the 8 so we able to get total mass of protons in oxygen likewise we know the mass of electron that is 0.00055 atomic unit multiply with the 8 so we able to get total mass of 8 electrons so here the mass of oxygen uh, of the nucleus that we are having 8 into the addition of neut uh, protons plus neutrons so that would be 8 into 2.01593 atomic unit that would be equal to 16.12744 atomic unit and if we are using mass spectrometer to directly measure the atomic mass of oxygen it will give you the measurement 15.99493 atomic unit this is the mass of eight electrons that 8 into 0.00055 atomic unit so if the mass spectrometer uh, uh, whatever the mass spectrometer gives the measurement minus mass of electrons if we are making then it will give you the result 
15.99053 atomic unit that would be the mass of nucleus because from the mass spectrometer we able to get the total mass of the atom by combining electrons protons and neutrons and actual mass of atom that is a mass of nucleus so from that measurement we are subtracting the mass of electrons and we able to get mass of nucleus and that measurement value will give you the less than the total mass of constituents whatever the calculation we did in uh, earlier by the less amount 0.13691 atomic unit so here this difference is known as mass defect mass defect it means the difference in mass of a nucleus and its a constituents constituent that is uh, charged particles so that mass defect delta m that would be equal to z into mp plus a minus z into mn minus m z is the mass number mp mass of proton a atomic weight z atomic number mn mass of neutron and capital m that is a mass of atom which is calculated so here if we want to break the oxygen nucleus into eight protons and eight neutrons then the extra energy delta m c square has to given to oxygen and it will be divided in separately this required energy is related to the mass defect that is given by eb equal to delta mc square this eb is known as a binding energy of the nucleus if a certain number of neutrons and protons are brought together to form a nucleus of a certain charge and mass then eb energy will be released and from the larger atom if protons and neutrons are separated then this energy will be gained so if we separate this nucleus into the nucleons then we have to supply that total amount of energy eb to this particles so binding energy per nucleon that would be equal to binding energy total binding energy divided by number of nucleons that eb n equal to eb divided by now let us go through the example regarding same find the energy equivalent of one atomic mass unit find in joules and then in mega electrovolt using this express the mass defect of 16 oxygen in mega electrovolt per c square so here one atomic unit that would be equal to 1.6605 into 10 to the minus 27 kg that we have already uh, gone through in the atomic mass now if we want to convert into the form of energy then we are having that equation e equals to mc square and m of one atomic unit that we are having in kilogram multiply with the c square that is 3 into 10 is to 8 so instead of that that is a proper value is given 2.9979 into 10 is to 8 square so here mc square value will give you the energy in joule for one atomic unit that is 1.4924 into 10 is to minus 10 joule now the energy of one unit if we want to convert into electrovolt then divide with 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 electrovolt so here by this division we able to get 0.9315 into 10 is to 9 electrovolt that would be equal to 931.5 mega electro volt so here 
the energy equivalence of one atomic mass unit we are having in terms of mega electro volt now if we want to convert into mega electro volt by c square so one atomic unit that would be the same value was 9.31.5 mega electro volt per c square now if we want to calculate the mass defect of oxygen that we have calculated earlier that mass defect of oxygen is 0.13691 atomic unit that we need to convert into mega electro volt by c square so multiply one atomic unit equal to that we have calculated 931.5 mev by c square multiply with it so here the result we are having 127.5 mev by c square that is a mass defect of oxygen in that unit so energy is this amount of energy is required to separate this oxygen into the constituents by that value now the nuclear force here coulomb force determines the motion of atomic electrons for average mass nuclei the binding energy per nucleon that would be approximately 8 mev mega electro volt which is very much larger than the binding energy in atom so to bind the nucleus together then the force the there must be a strong attractive force which can overcome the coulomb repulsion force between the same charge particles between the positively charged particles between the protons and to bind them together protons and neutrons into the small region nucleus so here some of the features of that binding force we need to go through first the nuclear force must be stronger than the coulomb force so the effect of the coulomb force can be neglected and based on that nuclear force protons and neutrons can combine together in the smaller region nucleus or another force can be a gravitational force that also should be overcome so the nuclear binding force has to dominate over the coulomb repulsive force between the protons inside the nucleus and gravitational force is very much weaker than coulomb force second the nuclear force between two nucleons falls rapidly as the distance will increases from the femtometer so here the saturation of the force in a medium is leaks over the large size nucleus so the uh, so that is the reason for the consistency the constant binding energy per nucleon can be carried out so here if we draw the potential energy per distance graphical representation then potential energy is minimum at the distance of r0 as you can see in the diagram that would be very much less about 0.8 femtometer the force is attractive for the distance larger than 0.8 femtometer and the force is repulsive if the distance is less than the 0.8 femtometer the nuclear force between the neutron neutron proton neutron and proton proton this particles within the nucleus that is almost same so the nuclear force does not depend on any ch electric charge either positive or negative or neutral there is no again mathematical form is available for the nuclear force nuclear energy the nuclear binding energy per nucleon that is almost constant for 
एटमिक नंबर बिटवीन थर्टी टू वन सेवेंटी बट द बाइंडिंग एनर्जी पर न्यूक्लियर इज लेस दैन एट मेगा इलेक्ट्रो वोल्ट फॉर लाइटर एटमिक नंबर दैट इज एक लेस दैन थर्टी एंड दैट बाइंडिंग एनर्जी वैल्यू इज ग्रेटर फॉर द न्यूक्ली ए ग्रेटर दैन वन सेवेंटी सो ग्रेटर द बाइंडिंग एनर्जी द लेस इज द टोटल मास ऑफ अ बाउंड सिस्टम एज अ न्यूक्लियस सो इफ न्यूक्ली विथ द टोटल बाइंडिंग एनर्जी ट्रांसफॉर्म टू न्यूक्ली विथ ग्रेटर बाइंडिंग एनर्जी आई रिपीट इफ द लेस इफ अ न्यूक्ली हैविंग अ लेस बाइंडिंग एनर्जी इट विल ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू द ग्रेटर बाइंडिंग एनर्जी मीन स्मॉल एटमिक स्ट्रक्चर टू लार्जर एटमिक स्ट्रक्चर कन्वर्जन वुड बी देयर the net amount of energy will be released and from larger atom to the smaller atom transmission transformation would be there then the net energy will absorb so the fission process is known as when a heavy nuclei decay nucleus decays into two or more intermediate mass fragments and fusion it means when light nuclei fuse together to make the heavier nucleus so energy involves in the range of electro volts for the chemical reactions uh, for example if we are using coal or petroleum but the energy release by the nucleus in terms of mega electro volt if the nuclear reaction takes place for example the same quantity of matter if we use for nuclear sources to produce a million times more energy than the chemical source for example fission of 1 kg of uranium will generate 1014 joule of energy and burning of 1 kg of coal gives you 100 uh, sorry fusion of 1 kg of uranium energy generate 10 raised to 14 joule of energy and burning of 1 kg of coal will give you 10 raised to 7 joule of energy so same amount of matter will generate the different amount of energy fusion process will generate a very larger amount of energy Here we are going to end this session hope you understood thank you